Good morning. I have about five minutes to nine o'clock this morning, and that means that we're already on time. Just don't look at the booklet. So, uh, good morning. I'm Dominic Spadafore. I'm the president of the Pura Syndrome Foundation, uh, and I'm here in large part to MC and to welcome all of you to Boston. This is our fourth annual conference, and uh, it's, it's pretty incredible to think that this organization is four years old and, and everywhere that we've come. So um, somehow or other, we've, we've done a little logo, if you will, um, and, and three of them are mine, and you can see that I, I talk a lot, so I use a lot of words, and so everybody's on there. Um, but uh, but we, you know, we try to have something along. So anyway, welcome to Boston, and we're here in Massachusetts. Um, and these, these logos that are printed on here are, are symbolic. Obviously, the, the state of Massachusetts is where we are. But just as importantly is on there is every country that we're in. Um, something, I think, uh, is it 60? No, 30, 32 countries. 32 different countries um, across the globe. Um, all six occupied continents. We are here, so um, that's our representative here. And so, as you see these things, you know there's subtleties uh, around uh, because we're family. So, a very special thank you to our presenters, which is what I where I want to start off with. Uh, the William B. Emmer Family Trust. You won't find in your booklet. Um, the the trust wants to be anonymous, and I had to talk to them diligently about at least saying something here and saying thank you. They are our presenting sponsors. They have helped out. The, the foundation uh, uh, very much over the last two years. So a great big thank you to the William B. Emmer Family Trust. Also, uh, the gold sponsors uh, for this weekend's event are Shepherd Financial Partners. Uh, and oddly enough, we approached them about coming in and doing a presentation, which you'll see tomorrow, and have a nice conversation with Mark Shepherd. Uh, and he was so moved by us, he, he then turned around and, and gave a, a, a very nice donation for, for this as well. So. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to have them here. Uh, PRC and North Shore Care Supply, they've been repeat sponsors. They were bronze sponsors for our second annual in Philadelphia two years ago uh, as well. So uh, really these are, these are long-term supporters now, which is just a, a, a wonderful of them. We've got a lot of advertisers. I'm not going to go through all of them, but they are in your booklet. They've, they've bought ads. They're repeat customers, uh, if you will. They're repeat sponsors. They're, they help us out. And then this year, uh, we've got fabulous swag bags. And they were, no money was spent on those of the foundations, which is really great. Everything there was donated, even the, the printing, the shipping, the, everything that's in it. Uh, and it was done by a host of people and organizations. And so I want to bring special attention to them for their, for their in-kind donations. Uh, this whole conference is a lot of work. Um, in fact, it's you know, roughly a year in the planning. Uh, and some people argue that it should be two years in the planning. I'm not sure what that means, but um, you know everything comes together at the last minute. But we go, we alternate um, from the U.S. to outside of the U.S. And so far, we've really been concentrating in in the U.K. and drawing people from the E.U. into those things. And then half of our Pura uh, families are located here in the U.S. And so we we alternate back and forth. Uh, and so it does take a lot of work. It does take a lot of time. And I want to pay special attention to John Erickson, um, who's a board member, Kara Hildring, who's a board member, um, Chris Moisenko, and Andy and Pat Moisenko. Chris is a parent, and Andy and Pat are, um, are grandparents. And they are all local because uh, we're here in Boston in part because it's easy to get to, but because we have families who were willing to help uh, and put this on. and. and take very, very good care of us. So a special thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Jennifer Gordon is the Medical Conference Committee Chair. So she helped organize, uh, in addition with uh, Dirk Niesing, uh, all of the medical staff who are here, uh, by and large the research staff. And they've come from all over the globe as well. So a very special thank you uh, to them. I also want to say thank you to the board. Yeah, it's, we've all done something here. And, and you know I get to stand up here and take the blame for things that go wrong. And, and I love doing that, but they get the credit for all of the stuff that goes right. Uh, and, and not just for this conference, but through everything that we do. The POPs, POPs page, uh, always deserves a special recognition. Uh, POPs is uh, Parents of Pura, and it is a closed Facebook page. I'll talk a little bit more about it tomorrow. 
they're really an independent organization from us, but they're how you all communicate to each other and, and drive enthusiasm uh, and questions that ultimately then get to us and help serve us. So separate organization, but really integral to the success and the support of our families who are you. So I always want to say thank you to Pops. Thank you to all of our families. It's not just the parents who are in the room uh, and, and the grandparents who are in the room. It's the parents, the grandparents, the brothers, the sisters, everybody who's at home helping us you know, day to day. Um, all of us have a great big support network. And even though I can't say thank you to them personally, uh, it's without them, you, you probably couldn't be here. I know without them, I couldn't be here. And that's, that's integral, again, to our success. And thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Um, we, we do this for you and for us collectively, but it's, it, we can't do it if you're not here. Um, and it is a lot of work to travel from no matter where you are. You might be from Milford. You might be from um, um, Sao Paulo, which is a good haul, right? Uh, Australia is represented here today, too. So it's, it's a lot of work. So thank you. Um, and a little bit, I wanted... Yeah. Uh, along with this, um, you'll find that I like to say thank you a lot because I, I don't know that it's said enough in, in regular society, uh, at least the people that I work with. Um, a little bit, I want to say thank you to the folks who started all of this. So Puro was first identified in papers in October of 2014, which is not that long ago. That was a small group of folks. And prior to those papers, this small group of folks actually started a, a web page on Facebook for, I think it was uh, hypotonia, um, children with hypotonia, and, and it was a small kind of gathering, and, and it morphed into something else. And they started gathering at people's houses for a mom's weekend out, essentially. And this is a picture. It's a very low resolution, so I couldn't blow it up very much. But Amy and Damon, um, Elizabeth, Heather, Kate, Maggie, Mel, Sarah, and Shira were really the, the people who started this as an idea. Um, and they morphed into the founding of the board and the foundation. We just lost pictures. All right, the founding of the of the foundation. So that came about in um, 15, and in January of 2016, we got a nonprofit organization and recognition. So um, the people who signed that document are Heather Bowie, Mel Anderson, Andy Dodds, uh, who is from Scotland, uh, Damon Fisher. Sarah Anderson, uh, also Sarah Anderson Bloom, you would know her as, and uh, Cecile Van Hoek. These, these six people are instrumental. They are those people who first said, yes, uh, I want to do something. I want to formally make something happen. Uh, and and I'm, um, I'm sorry to say that only Damon Fisher remains on the board. He just re-upped uh, for his second term. And sometimes he tells me, what, what did I do this for? But, um, but I really want to, to say a, a very special thank you to, to this group of, of eight, uh, six people um, be, because we can't be here without them. Um, they started, they took a leap of faith, they, because you just don't know how much work this is going to be, how this is going to work out. It's emotionally risky, right, um, to, to be honest, to start something. Uh, but everybody here, every one of them had the desire to do something and to do something great. And, and we're continuing that. And, and so a very special thank you. Um, unfortunately, uh, I, well, fortunately, I should say, I've had the pleasure to serve on the board with five out of, out of the six folks here. And just earlier this year, Cecile and Mel um, decided to, to rotate, to, to resign off the board, which was a great loss, because Cecile was our parent liaison in Europe, uh, who spoke four different languages. And we're still looking to replace that component. Um, which is a little bit of my subtle arm twisting to all of those who live outside of the U.S. We have positions on the board available for you. Um, and it, because it's, it, this is not a U.S. organization. Uh, we're, we're, for tax reasons, we're, we're founded in, um, in the state of Maine. So what? We're here to serve everybody globally. And that 32 countries and growing. And that's 32, 38 cultures. Um, that are distinct and different, and from Kansas City, Missouri, which is where I live currently, uh, I don't understand that. I can't, I can't understand everything, and, and neither can everybody on the board, because we're not you, and we need 
you and your help. So please help us fulfill that portion of the of, of the of the uh, of our mission. And uh, Mel is from Australia, who is a different culture, right? Same language and, and a different language, uh, which is really pretty fun. But she was our medical liaison, uh, and and we've really, with her loss, we've actually really had given the opportunity to reimagine how we interact with researchers and clinicians and. And um, it, that's always a difficult change. She, she took on a lot of work for us. So uh, I don't see her in the audience yet. She's here today. And I, I think a lot of you saw her last night. But, um, but make sure that you, you reach out to her and say thank you. She's, she's done a, a lot to get a lot of what we're doing. It's not, just, uh, it's not just about the foundation. It's about research. It's about clinical support. It's about finding out new things. And, and she did a wonderful job of, of getting that started for us. So a special thank you to Mel. All right. Uh, so who is the board uh, of the foundation? Uh, I actually want to introduce everybody. Damon, you're standing in the corner. Damon's nice and tall. So Damon is our current secretary. He just transitions from treasurer to secretary. Uh, next to him is Carrie, Carrie Hildrick. Carrie is the US parent liaison. Can you stand up, please? <laughs> yes, yes, she is. Yes, she is. And, and we're working to help. We're, we're getting help. So uh, John, let me see, has been uh, our IT and technology uh, guru as well as uh, did the organization of the, of the uh, started the organization of the uh, conference here today. Amanda. Amanda is our current fundraising chair. And she uh, probably knows as many of you as, as I, well, more than I do, uh, because she's working with small groups and, and fundraising for small fundraising events, large fundraising events. Um, so thank you very much. Let me see, that's one, two, who else am I missing? Todd. Todd, there you are. <clears throat> so Todd is our most recent member of the board. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Todd is the, uh, the U.S. Vice President. So one of the concepts that, that I've started to implement is a, as a U.S. Vice President as well as an International Vice President. So read that two international positions open, please. And that's a, a position that's really outwardly focused to help us organize with other rare disease organizations. You know, so it's, it's too much for one person to handle, so let's get three people to handle it. But it's, it's interacting with NORD, it's interacting with Eurarus, um, I'm mispronouncing it, but it's a European Rare Disease Consortium. Um, it's, it's outwardly supporting and then going to help with our organization and our interface with that because we're not here alone and we shouldn't be plowing the field the first time, if you will. Let's not reinvent the wheel, but let's, let's learn from others and that's, that's that position. So um, it, it's a very exciting position. So. Uh, to our board members, thank you very much for being here. Um, one last board member is uh, Kadidia Cooper, who is unable to make it uh, to the conference today. Kadidia is our current treasurer, and she is our first non-parent board member. So I'm very excited about that because uh, I believe that it's important to have an objective view. I mean, we're parents, we all have an agenda because we're parents. But sh she and hopefully others will help balance that. Now, in our bylaws, at no time can there be more non-parents than parents because we are a parent-driven organization, plain and simple, and that's sacred. However, having a little outside perspective, I think, makes all of us better. So, uh, so we're working on that. So, uh, Kadidia was unable to join us here due to some work requirements in Sacramento. But, and then, uh, who is the Pura Syndrome Global Research Network? So, collectively, they are the GRN, and they're a group of researchers. Um, oops. Uh, who have working on, on our account, okay? They are parallel researchers. They're headed up by a small group uh, of three, if you will, David Hunt, who has presented uh, a number of times to this community, actually three previous times. He was unable to make it this year due to some family obligations. Uh, Dr. Jennifer Gordon and Dr. Dirk Niesing, uh, who you will hear from uh, today as well. These are the three heads of the Global Research Network, and they really work to coordinate different labs, different universities, different institutions who are doing research for us. And by that, I mean um, these research institutions are paying and are self-funding significant research into the Pura gene, into Pura Alpha, and therefore the Pura Syndrome. Okay. 
Uh, we have awarded only one fellowship so far, and we're working to award more and travel grants, and and we're concentrating on free publication, getting getting the papers that are written to be freely available to everybody, and that's where we're spending our money. And fortunately, these institutions that these people represent and and work for are so generous that they're funding that that research themselves. They are funding these researchers to come over here. So we've, you know, very, very few travel grants have been had actually these people pay for this coming over here, uh, which makes our fundraising and our money that much more effective to the places that we need to spend it, uh, that bang for the buck, if you will. So a very special thank you to the GRN. Um, it, your, your generosity is, is instrumental. It's, um, it's, it, it's, Phenomenal. I talk to other nonprofit organizations and they don't have anything like this and they're just really blown away because they need to raise money in the, you know, a 100, 200, 300 thousand dollar chunks just to do one or two things. And that's not us because of the Global Research Network So and their institution. So thank you very much. All right, so uh, a little bit of the agenda. Obviously, you've got a booklet, um, but generally speaking, Friday, yesterday, uh, the GRN met, um, and this we we have we asked them to meet with us in the same conferences every year, so that they meet face to face and organize and and brainstorm and update each other because they are they do represent uh, five or six different institutions across the globe that are doing these things independently, but yet in parallel. Um, Saturday today, uh, we're going to be talking, they are going to be talking to you about what it is that, what they're doing and why, okay, uh, which is wonderful. This afternoon, we've got a social hour and dinner all together, so that's very exciting. Um, Sunday morning is, is all about parent support. That's just help. Um, and, and it's a variety of different things, and we want your feedback. Uh, at the end of Sunday, we're going to give you a, a survey. Are these the right things to be talking about? Is this what you want to know? What did we do right? What, did, what are we missing? Okay, um, so pay special attention. And then we're going to have a couple of round tables to close the session uh, just after lunch on Sunday that I'm, I'm very excited about. So, and last thing before we start, I always feel like a Grinch uh, saying this, but uh, frankly, I've, I've said it at all three conferences now, and I think it just needs to be a, a reminder. So, um, courtesy, courtesy above all things. Um, we, we are a diverse group of people. Uh, I believe there's six countries represented uh, here in multiple languages, and that means we have multiple different um, attitudes and understanding of things. So lots of things are lost in translation. Um, lots of things are social norms in one place and not another. Uh, so just extend that courtesy. Just remember that. It's, it's, it's easy to get lost in, 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 and forget that. So uh, that's one thing. A little privacy. Uh, so, really, the big deal here is um, is pictures of our of our kids, right? Our, our kids are great. Um, pictures of other kids, not everybody wants that up. So just keep that in mind, and that goes back to courtesy uh, and video. So you'll see there's a camera back here that's turned on, and we're recording as many of the presentations as we can today. However, we can't record all of them, and therefore, I'm asking all of you. Please don't record them on your phones either. Okay, uh, the research institutions, the researchers who are here presenting to us, uh, sometimes are presenting uh, research study projects that are not yet complete. Okay, here's a primer of where things are, and they and their institutions uh, have the right to control that information when it before it's complete. Okay, um, because some of that may change. Um, some of it is strictly quite frankly, confidential for any number of different reasons, and we need to respect that. So um, again, I feel like a Grinch because, you know, our social norms is, is kind of all of that goes, and in this room, that does not go today. Uh, be sensitive, all those different cultures, um, and, and we, 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 if somebody gives you a funny look, uh, don't be offended. Uh, and then, but most importantly, meet new people. I would love it if you all met each and everybody here. We've got 102 people here. Uh, for the weekend, and you know, if you get to meet all of them, that's ideal. Uh, but the idea of coming together is to meet each other. So, so that's wonderful. So, uh, that's that's my opening 